Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, confetti coating idea. So I'm in the shading tab, I've got my objects loaded to which I've applied a principled shader and I'm going to enable viewport shading with the cycles render engine selected. I've already got one principled shader here, but I actually need two. So I'm going to shift D to duplicate that. And I'm going to start out by adding a Voronoi texture. So shift A to search for that. To that, I'm going to apply a mapping and a mapping node and a texture coordinate and use the object output into the vector of the mapping node. And I'm going to need a second Voronoi texture, I think. And both of those are going to use the vector from the mapping node as their vector inputs. Now, uh, I'm going to need a color ramp. And I'm going to pop this in between all of that. I'm going to set it to HSL with far selected. Make my first color full saturated red. And my second color full saturated and 0.99 on the hue. In fact, 0.999. So it's going all the way around. So you've got a full rainbow spectrum working through there. Now I'm going to take the color from this Voronoi into the factor of that. And then that's going to go into the base color of this first principal shader. So we've now sort of got a confetti thing going on, but we need to separate these out and make them into circles and also apply the surface texture as well. So let's do that now. Right, for this top Voronoi texture, we're leaving everything as it is apart from the scale and we're gonna increase that to 10. For this second Voronoi texture, we're going to change the feature output to N sphere radius. And we're going to change the scale on that to 10 as well. Now we need to find a math node and set the um, comparison to less than. We're going to take the distance value from the Voronoi texture at the top plug that into the value. Then I'm going to take the radius from this bottom Voronoi texture and plug it into the threshold. This is then going to get plugged into the alpha of this bottom principled shader. And you can see we've now got our confetti, but we need a surface as well. So we'll go and deal with that in a second. But what I want, would like to do is add a bump node in here, plug that into the normal, and then take the value from this math node into the height. And that's just going to make it look like their three-dimensional sequence. Right. Okay, so for the surface that goes in between these sequins, we need to mix this shader with this shader. So holding down control shift and then right click and drag the two together, it automatically applies a mix shader for me. And I'm going to use uh, one of these other nodes to be the factor. And it's basically this math node, because if you remember that's separating out the background from the sequence. So we'll take this value and plug it into the factor. And there we go. So we now have the surface the sequence is sitting on and the sequence. 
So if we want to make changes to the surface, we have, uh, we change this principle to shader. So let's just give it a different color. And then for the sequins, if we want to make them metallic, obviously we'd increase this and specular for the glossiness. Uh, and that's about it, to be honest. Might have sounded very exciting and complex, but it's really one of the simplest things that I've created. Um, so let's send that to render. Okay, there we go. We've got our confetti coating. This would look good if you're creating pack shots or something of products and you want to have a floor or a background wall with this on. Anyway, however you use it, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. Oh, and of course, tell all your blender mates. Thanks for watching.